Hello everyone, I'm apparently live. Hello. I should have put this away first. I apologize. We just got back from bingo and grocery shopping and stuff. Mina wants so badly, so badly to eat the leaves off of these strawberries. She will get some, she will get some, apparently some cats. They treat it like catnip or it's kind of like catnip. And she is absolutely in that camp. Watch this girl, watch this girl go strawberries. I was going to say go bananas, but let's watch her go strawberries over these strawberry leaves. No, no, you have to do it on camera. You have to show the people. You have to, you have to show the people, no, no. She's like, I don't want to. I'm so embarrassed. Oh, she just got one. Here you go. No, 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 no. Are you going to, she's going to make a fool of me now. <laughs> Maybe when it's not in my hand. Here you go. No, no. There. Okay. She eats these like salad. It's crazy. Craziness. But I definitely don't want to upset her stomach or anything. So I only give her a couple or a few, a handful, whatever, while I'm doing the de de leafing of the berries because it helps to make it so they don't mold as quickly. Okay, but no, no, you're just, you're actually in the way now. Ah. <sighs> And don't worry to everyone saying, oh my God, you just touched a cat and then you're going to touch your fruit. They get washed before they get eaten, people. My God. It's like, <laughs> it's like people who talk about, oh my God, you let your cats on the counters. We sanitize the counters. Like, I don't know why this is so mystifying to people. Okay, no, no. You are a fiend. You are a fiend. And I don't like it. Okay, down you go. Down you go. She's going to hop right back up. But she, yeah, she goes crazy over these strawberries. But hello, hello. Elf, hello. Lothlorian elf. You're cooking dinner. Perfect timing. I am so glad I can keep you company. The cats. The cats are going wild. <sighs> and now I'm getting really hot. I'm getting really hot all of a sudden standing here. I don't know why. I don't know. <sighs> Hello, hello. Hi, Chrissy. Thank you for saying you love me. I appreciate it. Okay, no, no. You've had enough. You've had enough salad. <sighs> I know. Healthy girl, but too healthy. Too healthy. Too much salad. <laughs> okay, let's see. You love my sweater? Thank you. Dan got this for me for Christmas off of Etsy. I don't know which seller, but that's where we got it or where he got it. So, yes, kitty biscuits. Because the cat is on the table anyway, so sanitizing doesn't help. What are you talking about? <laughs> we sanitize after they've been on the counter. The strawberries are on a paper towel right now. Like, I don't understand what people get so bent out of shape over. My God. My God. Or if anything, how about we just, like, mind our business and, like... <laughs> It's not you eating the food, so, like, why people care? I don't, so trust me, that's something I'll never understand. But, anywho, anywho, what's everyone, how's everyone doing? Cats love making a fool of the humans, I know, isn't it great? Look at this strawberry, it's so long. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay. Hello, my dear. Hi. How was it? Did you shut the lid? Yes. As he says, as he goes back to shut the lid. <laughs> it's 3 a.m. No, go to bed. Go to bed. I mean, unless you have the ability to sleep all day tomorrow. Trust me, nothing will happen here that is worth losing your sleep over. I promise. I mean, I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. But I your value, your, no, your sleep is valuable, is what I was trying to say. Anywho, you love the long hair. Are you talking about Dan's hair? Uh, you feel like two little elf braids on either side would be pretty. Do you ever braid it? Are you talking about me or Dan? Um, I, I mean, a little cute elf braids. Dan could. I feel like whenever I try to like do anything cute with my hair, I just have so little of it that like 
anytime if I like tried to braid it or something, I would take away from the small amount of hair that I have left. So I personally never do that personally. <laughs> but I did it to Dan's hair once when we were at Bingo. I did a little braid behind his ear, and that thing stayed in for like two weeks. I feel like no, it was at least was, a week. It was like a week, yeah. I think it was longer than that because I feel like I remember you coming over for two different weekends, and yeah. I was like, "How is that still there?" You locked it in tight. I guess I don't remember doing it that tightly, but clearly I did something right. But a Padawan braid put some little Viking rune <laughs> hair beads in it. That'd be cute. Hello, Malin. Hello to you. Oh my gosh, chic geek. A hundred degrees in Phoenix today. Yikes. Lucky. No. I'd love it. Sick. He's fry. disgusting. It was probably like 45 or 50 today, With but the, the wind, wind is insane. The wind was going crazy. I think, doesn't it mean when the flags outside are going like straight? Doesn't that mean it's at least 45 miles per hour? I feel like I learned that at some point in my life. But I don't remember when or where I learned that from. So whether or not it's accurate, I always doubt. <laughs> but come for a visit. Ugh, Dan, you can go by yourself. Sorry to anyone who lives there. It's not the place that I don't like. I honestly don't know much of anything well, about it. Arizona, you go it's the temperature. Oh, I just, I would be so miserable. No, 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 no. That's the last salad. No more salad. <sighs> cats, I tell you, cats. We love them, but <laughs> sometimes they drive us a little cray cray. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And I love you. I love you. Yeah, do do. Okay, my friends, let's get this stream party started. Kind of. I need to get some water if you guys don't mind. <laughs> ah, so we're gonna get some ice. Yay. And we're gonna get some water. Yay. What a delight. Uh, refreshing water. What are we doing? I was just putting the groceries away and I didn't want to wait to start streaming, so I decided to stream <laughs> while I de stemmed or de leafed and strawberry. Okay. And now I'm just getting some water. And now. I was very thirsty. All right, one moment. Don't worry. What you are seeing is not an error. I have my finger over the camera. Just one moment, please. Just one moment. We will get you situated. And now my legs. Hey, hey, those are my thighs. Hey. I know, very exciting. It's what everyone has always wanted to see. Ah, like you guys haven't seen my thighs a million times. Ah, okay, Dan's TV is over there that we brought back from his place. Ah. Oh, I probably want to sit on this, don't I? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I probably want to turn the fan on, don't I? Yes, I do. Oh, I'm sweating. I'm sweating, my friends. Oh. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming back. Here, let's not take that the wrong way. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Here I am. Don't worry, my friends. I have not abandoned you. Oh, oh that fan feels so good. Oh. Whew. It's getting warm in here. Oh, hello, everyone. Hello. You're welcome. You. Have I been losing weight? No, it's so funny. <laughs> At least not that I know of. 
Um, someone had said that in a video recently, and then lots of other people <laughs> in my most recent vlog were like, oh my god, you're so fat. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my god, like I just, can we just not, can we just not? <laughs> <sighs> but that's life, isn't it? Unfortunately, that's life. But here I am. Here I am. Fig, do you want to say hi? Fig is here. He is a happy boy. You want to say hi to the people? Do you want to say hi to the people? Oh, yeah. Get my baby. Yeah. Fig had a, had a dental cleaning this week. Had two teethies pulled. Oh yes, he's gonna get some get some painkillers tonight. Oh, but I think he's on the mend. It's been oh what a ride. My brain was doing horrible dirty tricks to me. Not that oh, it's one of those things where I've never actually heard of or known a cat or a human even to go under anesthesia and not make it out of surgery because of the anesthesia, if you get what I'm saying. But, you know, you have to sign paperwork and stuff that says, like, this can happen. So I assume you sign the paperwork for a reason. Like, I assume this actually does happen. And so even though, you know, G has had or had had. Oh, yeah, Fig, was that for you, not for Dan? <laughs> um, G had had dental procedures and dental cleanings um, before he passed. And I learned about the importance of dentals for cats and he always did great with them but for whatever reason I think it was probably just like trauma from having lost G uh, last December and so the week leading up to Fig getting his surgery and whatnot I just was a mess and like anytime Fig would do something cute or like come up to me and cuddle my brain this horrible dark place in my brain would come out and be like, that's the last time that's ever going to happen. And then I would just like be in tears thinking, oh my God, like this is, I'm going to lose fig. And I just, I, so like this past week has been stressful in that way, but for no reason other than my, my brain, mm, my brain. And so that, that wore me out, but Fig got it all done. He did great in surgery. Like I said, I'm glad he only needed the two teeth extracted when G, G just had bad teeth. He got really bad luck. You know, some cats have horrible luck with um, tooth resorption. Some cats, it doesn't affect them at all. Like Mina and Milo, they aren't showing any signs of resorption, which is great. Um, but Fig, I knew there was one tooth that was resorbing. Um, I had known that from the last vet that I had brought him and G into. Um, was that back in October? But I had been wanting to switch clinics or um, veterinary practices for a long time because that last one that I had been at um, it was like 45 minutes away. And I'm just like, this. <laughs> as much as I love that place, I just, I can't. I'm sure there are just as good ones out here. So I finally found one out here and was able to get Fig in. Um, and so I knew of the one tooth that was resorbing that I needed to get taken care of. But apparently it very often happens symmetrically. So even though the other tooth on the other side didn't look like it was resorbing, they told me once they did x-rays that probably that's what we would find and that's what they did find. It wasn't horrible, but it was one of those things where the resorption had started. So they were like, we may as well while he's under just get it out while we can. And I was like, yeah, that's totally fine. We'll save him some pain in the future. He's already going under let's do the two teeth. So, um, yeah. So I was very happy. It was just the two teeth. Um, but I know they said a couple of his teeth in the back too, were looking pretty, not resorbing, but they were looking kind of icky. And <laughs> so I need to either start brushing his teeth or they said, Fig, you're going to love this. I need to start giving him more dental treats. So that's exciting. We've also got him, we've had him um, on a weight loss, a prescription weight loss food. Uh, we started that a couple weeks ago and I'm excited. In the couple weeks that he's been on it, he lost almost a pound. So that's exciting, especially because he gets to eat more while he's on it. It's just lower calorie food, but you get to eat more of it. So I'm hoping it means he feels fuller and also hopefully it can help him lose the weight. So we'll see. 
I'm just glad we were on the right track. It was really nice because I think he had weighed 16.8 or 16.9 pounds. I know that's bad. Um, but uh, when I brought him in for his dental on Wednesday, he was 16.1. So that was awesome. That was awesome. Your vet said that kibble makes TR worse. Are you talking, does that mean tooth resorption? Um, that I don't know. I haven't heard that. Um, as far as I know and the research that I've done, it's like a, I don't even know that it's a genetic thing technically. Um, it's just kind of a crapshoot. Like some cats have it and some cats don't. Like they're born with it or they're not. Who is that guy? I haven't watched you in ages. Sorry, I gave you that voice. I don't know why I gave you that voice. <laughs> it just came out like that. But this is the boyfriend. Yeah. This is this is. I'm not just a random dude that walked in. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is love of my life, light of my life. Uh, this is Dan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do I ever get annoyed? I'm with... a stranger that just wandered into the house. <laughs> Do I? And I'm totally okay with it. Yep. <laughs> Uh, do I ever get annoyed with doo-doo being so vocal in your videos? I personally don't, for the most part. Like, every now and then. Well, in the videos. Uh -oh. It's, um, it depends. It's, because I know other people might find it annoying, and I just know that he's loud, too, and so I don't want to make it hard for you guys to hear. Um, and I know sometimes it can go constantly, and so I know, I just, so, yes and no. Yes and no. But, um. He's a good boy. We love him, so it's okay. Hot take, but do you ever walk your cats outside on a leash? Your indoor cat doesn't enjoy it, but your old cat loved it. I would like <laughs> to... He has tried with his cats before. Both my cats, the second you put the harness on, they just literally flop over sideways paralyzed. Yeah, it's like you see some cats doing videos. I've never tried with Fig. I've always thought about it. But I'm scared I would waste the money on a harness, and then he would do the same, and then it would just be a waste of money. <laughs> <laughs> but I have thought about it, um, especially because he, every now and then, he seems to like running through the halls. I shouldn't say running, because then people think I'm just, like, letting my animals loose in the hall. But, like, sometimes he'll slip through the door when I get home, and he'll, you know, r like, trot down the hall a little bit. He just likes to explore, so I don't know if that would translate to him being okay on a harness? Baby, no, I need that. I know, but people are saying it's, they can hear it. Well, that doesn't... Is it too loud, or do you guys just hear it? Because <laughs> otherwise, I'm going to start sweating buckets. <laughs> That's going to be loud. Okay. That, I know, does end up on the camera. It's not that loud. No, it's fine. Comfort is key. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I hope it's not like annoying. I just, it's, I, I get so steamy. Trust me. I wish I did not get as steamy as I get. That's perfect, baby. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, it sounds like it's blowing directly into the mic. It's like a ways. I would say it's like five feet away from the mic. Maybe angle it to the side. Hopefully. It's annoying. It sounds windy. Okay, turn it off. <laughs> Just turn it off. <sighs> Do you ever go to hang out with Dan's family? You see us hang out with my mom. How about his mom? Um, we do see his family. My mom just doesn't mind being on camera. I've never asked your family, but they don't strike me as people who would love yeah, being not. in videos. Um, so I've never tried vlogging around them or anything. So it's just uh, it's just preference of people. So yeah, we ha we see his family every week mm. um, to play bingo and whatnot. So uh, yeah, I I see my family and his family equally. Because I see yeah. my mom for Trashy TV, and then I see his family. If anything, I see more of his family, because there's quite a few family members that do the bingo. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Do we ever attend anime conventions or plan on it in the future? I've only been to one once in my life. I went to... I forget if it was middle school or high school, but it was back when I was really self-conscious, like, about 
not like I mean I was also self-conscious about my body image but like I was really self-conscious about what people thought of me which is so stupid because I'm at a freaking anime convention obviously everyone there likes anime Mm -hmm. but like I was so self-conscious the whole time I couldn't even enjoy it because my anxiety was just like through the roof like oh my god what do people think of me and this and that which again so stupid like but that just goes to show you that mental things like don't it it's not about making sense it just happens um but yeah anyways i went i went to anime due to her like yeah that, i think that's the one that twice. i went to yeah that's the one the in the hotel right where all the different rooms are different things i think maybe i don't remember because there's two that are here okay. so i forgot which How one you... is which but yeah i went to the one that's like at a hotel and every single hotel room is like a different thing it, it it's kind of <clears throat> kind of jank, but it was all right. I spent most of my time at the Dwarven Speakeasy. Isn't it crazy? Do you remember when you went? Ah, like, uh, I do remember. Even though I spent the whole time at the Dwarven Speakeasy, I was underage, so uh, 2010 to like 12. Okay, so that probably that wasn't the year I went. I was gonna say, isn't that crazy? We could have been there at the same time. Yeah. Year. Have we tried raw food for the kitties? We have not. Yeah. Um, a, I don't know that we are financially <laughs> able to provide them with that. And B, I've recently like been reading that it's not, like it's good for them, but like it's not as good as some people make it out to be. Like there's a lot of nutrients that end up being missing in their diet. <sighs> that could be made up BS. They used to give me little bits of chicken and steak that I cook, though. Yeah. But I also, I tried for a bit doing um, smalls because I would see their ads on Instagram and stuff. And, like, I liked the idea of it. Um, You know, less processed and just, like, pure meat for them. The cats did not like it, like, at all. I still have some in the freezer because, like, any time I would even try, because I know you're supposed to try, like, transitioning them really slowly by just mixing a little bit into their food each night and working your way up. But even if I would just put, like, the tiniest bit into their normal food that they already like, they wouldn't go near it. They would not go near the food. So I just... Now he's trying to go on the raw human diet. (laughs) He always does that. So either way. I don't know why you guys are talking about Lumi all of a sudden, but uh, Dan, how do you feel it does? It works. I feel like it works. Okay. I don't. I don't think it. It doesn't do the seventy-two hours that no. it advertises. But no, not it's good for close. eight hours. I was gonna say it's good for like initially. Yeah. But yeah, it doesn't last, which is sad. I I was hoping it would work, but I guess we haven't tried it anywhere other than the end's feet. Yeah. Um. So I guess I haven't tried it, you know, on armpits or anything. But either way. Either way. Oh my goodness. You've been watching my videos since med school and now you're a doctor? Good job. You're married and have three kids. You love my videos so much and you're so happy that I found my man. Thank you. That's so sweet. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, Dan, am I your first plus size girlfriend? No. Or have you dated girls of all sizes? Mostly bigger. Yeah. Um... So I'm just one of them guys. He has a type. I do have a type. And I'm glad. And you are half Because it means type. I fall into it. Yeah, you're half that type. I was gonna say, I fit the body type. Yeah, you, you have your sanity still though. I was gonna say, I fit the body type and you like girls in glasses. <laughs> you're only the second one. Yeah, but whenever we see girls out in public, I feel like a lot of the times the cute ones, they're wearing glasses. Oh, yes. So I think he has a thing for glasses. Yes. (laughs) Yes, I do. And I hope that didn't come off as creepy. (laughs) That, like, whenever we're out, we're, like, scoping out the girls. But, like, every now and then it's like... We can agree on it. Yeah, it's like, oh, she was cute. One story lady. I know. That was... Oh, she was grotesquely cute. 
it was annoying <laughs> but like in a good way i was just jealous <laughs> it's like god everything she did it was just like stop stop <laughs> she was just really cute <laughs> um let's see Try Vichy stress resist. You have hyperhidrosis and it works better than anything else. Do you think, do you have sweaty feet though? Or is it just no. the smell? Okay. I mean, it, it was for a while, but that's because I was wearing boots that didn't breathe. So those yeah. winter boots also were kind of doing it. Not as bad as the, the cowboy boots that I wore. Yeah. But those were straight giving me trench foot. Yeah. <clears throat> so... Bless the guys who like bigger girls. Your ex always said you were like a cuddly teddy bear and your current boyfriend, you feel like he wants a really fit girl and it sucks. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Have you uh -huh. talked to him about it? I mean, maybe, I mean, hopefully that's just you thinking that and he actually loves your body. But um, yeah, I think honestly, outside of what, the media and stuff says, I think there's a lot more guys out there that, and just people in general that find plus size people attractive, mm -hmm. you know, like I don't, I don't know. I, I've come to find anyways. Uh, but thank you, Malin. You love how happy we make each other and you, of course. Well, thank you. Your boyfriend is a ginger and has stinky feet too. Maybe it's a redhead thing. Maybe. <clears throat> I tend to think it's more of a like a the the job I do. I was gonna say, I think it's just a Yeah, it yeah. it just promotes not promotes, breeds. I mean, I think anyone that would come home after doing the job you did would have stink somewhere. Right. <laughs> like where it is, I don't know, but anywho. Yeah, exactly. You think plus size women are stunning and your boyfriend is plus size. You think he's the cutest ever. You think it's just a projection of insecurities. Exactly. And I'm sure I'm, I shouldn't say I'm sure I don't know your boyfriend, but you know, I, I think it probably is. It took me a while to believe Dan when he said he found me attractive because that, you know, we, we project these things. Um, but I, I learned to, I learned I learned. <laughs> so. Is it hard to have three cats? I don't know. Look at this thing. Too. <laughs> I Tell me it's easy. I wouldn't say it's hard. It's Well, I mean, you <laughs> let him do these things. Um, it just depends. Like, it would be easier if we had more space. And, mm. I mean, define easy. It just depends. Like, if you're okay with being woken up a lot in the middle of the night, I think that's the thing that people probably get bugged about the most with cats is that they're nocturnal. So, like your sleep schedule is going to be a little out of whack and the more cats you have in the household, that's just more things to wake you up. But aside from that, Rebecca, you thought Dan's type was that Delphine chick and she's like 80 pounds. I mean, I have many likes. <laughs> I mean, it's also her personality that I like too, though. She's uh, crazy. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you've noticed a lot of fit men, gym rats. They tend to love plus size women. Yeah, I mean, for a lot of people, just in general, opposites attract, you know? So, I mean, I feel like I see it a lot too, where, you know, bigger guys, plus size guys, whatever you want to call them, are with really skinny girls. And vice versa and all over the place, you know, like there's bigger guys that date super skinny guys. Like there's girls that date other girls that are, you know, like there's people who identify as whatever. And a lot of times it's the opposite attract thing. So why not keep the cats out of the bedroom at night? Because <laughs> they just scratch at the door though. I, you know, if. I say I wish that was an option, but at the same time, I don't, because I like it when they come and snuggle. Mm -hmm. And so I wouldn't want to stop the snuggling. Um, oh, my 
my gosh! You oh, you, still in the game you did it? You play a cute cat game where you invite cats to a resort and you get to name them. You got a silver Siberian and you named him Galileo in honor of G. That's so Aww. cute. Yeah. Thank you. That's very sweet. There's not much opposite about them, though, other than body type. Well, what does that matter? I mean, it can be opposite personalities attracting, too. Like, that's definitely a thing as well. Thank you, ghostly me. You're awesome. <laughs> as well. You like your men to be cuddly, not hard-boiled? Or hard-bodied. <laughs> hard-boiled. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, everyone has their preference. Everyone has their preference. Have you tried giving them food right before bed? I do. I do give them their food right before bed, and it uh -huh. does not I'd, help. Yeah, no. Because they're the type of cats where if they could be eating constantly all day, they would. And then they would all, they would be like 25 pounds, and then we, we can't have that. So. See, that's the weird thing, though. I had Milo and Mina free feed for the longest time, and they would still leave food, like, all the time. They were pretty moderate about it, at least. Yeah, they were still overweight, though. Not by a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. There's There's no right or wrong answer here. We're all just doing our best. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, the media makes it seem like people can only date people of the same body type, but in real life, things are much more varied. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, I mean, that's what happens when you are constantly making dating shows where everyone looks the same. Like, you're not going to be able to find an opposite body type of drag because mm -hmm. everyone always tends to have the same body type. Yeah, Tiffany Ann, you want more vlogs in the future? I can do my darndest. I don't have too much, like, ultra planned. Um, I know one video I'm excited to do. Um, but aside from that, I don't really know. You can I'm make just... a Dan Makes Me Touch Grass vlog. <sighs> yeah, where I just take them outside and touch grass. And you go frisbee golfing and... And you kind of watch me fail at frisbee golf. It's fine. I'm so bad, you guys. I am so bad. You were fine. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, where it took me like 40 throws That's compared fine. to your three. It was your first time. Guys, I almost beheaded multiple people. <laughs> Because I can't control my throws. Well, you'll learn once you do it more. It took me 13 years to get to where I'm at. Yeah, well. <sighs> ba, ba, ba. Do we have any sub summer travel plans? No. Nah, not this summer. Not that I know of. I don't feel like I have travel plans in general. Not until Japan. Not until probably next year. Yeah. But, yeah. That'll be a fun vlog. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be like a couple hours. Oh, it will be multiple vlogs. Yes. Yeah, no. It, it will consume my channel. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you, Tiffany. Yeah, I, I feel like I have a boring life, so, like, it's hard for me to feel like I should vlog, you know what I mean? But I try to make them fun. Your hair's looking long, Cassie. I know, I need a haircut. I need a haircut. I just, it gets so scraggly, it's like this part. Like, if we could just, like, chop off that part. I feel like it's usually pretty good around there. But then, like, on this side, I guess it doesn't look straight. You can't win with curly hair, can you? You really can't. Ugh, not to mention with the wind today. The hair was just all over the place. All over the place. Do we, like, goth meat? I don't know what. Define goth meat, I was going to say, what 
What would be like the definition? Evanescence is all right. That's got I used to right. love Evanescence. Uh, Radio Werewolf is good. <laughs> Never heard. <laughs> That's of a it. deep cut. Yeah. Yeah. Like from ye olden days. It's like... pretty old. Okay. It's it's good. It's a uh, Anton Lavey's son's band. Do I know who that is? He is the father of. Or uh, Levianism, Satanists, the not the not bad brand ones. Oh, do do, oh do do. But it is very interesting. I'll show it to you sometime. Typo negative is pretty good. I've not heard of that. What you drinking, Dan? He's drinking a summer slushy. Yeah, Mountain Dew Summer Freeze. It's the new Mountain Dew. It tastes like a bombsicle. It is pretty good. You loved when the kitties were bathing each other in my last vlog. I know. I yeah. know. Dan that was, like, that was what is she eating? Months. What is she eating? Uh, bread tie. Where did you get a bread tie? No, no, no. I don't know. I find them all the time. Where? I don't know. <sighs> Evanescence is only goth and aesthetic, unfortunately. That's totally possible. That's <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess it is symphonic new metal. Ooh, you went to the Mall of America for the first time this weekend. What did you think? Was it everything you could have <laughs> dreamed? I feel like people hype up the Mall of America, and then it's just mayhem. I was say you want to vlog that? Oh, yeah, we were thinking about it. I yeah. just don't know, like, what really you can vlog. Cause... Oh, you want to vlog my <clears throat> getting all my new clothes because I have no clothes anymore? Yeah, like... Hey guys, here's this store. Hey guys, look, there's also this store. Like, I feel like I'm gonna go to the anime store and stuff too. Yeah, and it's like I don't know which stores would even allow filming in them. Like all of them. Uh, I don't know. Stores can be pretty strict about that stuff. You wouldn't return, that's for sure. Yeah, especially not on a weekend. I mean, it's just yeah. madness. It's madness. Yes, new wardrobe for Dan vlog. He just, baby needs pants. Baby needs pants real bad. And shirts. You really don't. Though. I really do. I can't keep wearing the same ten over and over again. You guys, him saying he needs more shirts is like me saying I need more shirts. You do not need more shirts. You have stacks. Let's, let's take this and we'll, no. we'll show the closet. We'll show how much space I have and how much clothes I have versus what you have. And, you know, if I want to buy 10 more shirts, I think that's fine. I just doubled my shirt wardrobe. Is this one you guys, like we have five so shirts. little space. Five shirts. <laughs> we have so little space. We do. I just want like five shirts though. You we'll have pants, so many t shirts. Yeah, but me and I ate all the good ones. Then you need to get rid of the ones that you have. Fine. Okay. Then, yes. Uh, you haven't been to the Mall of America in years, but you remember there being multiple locations of the same store. That's there, I think hot topic and Spencer's are the two that I was gonna say. Remember. I think there was only a couple like that, yeah. And I don't know that they still are, or like something like a Starbucks. I'm sure they have multiple. I know they have like three caribous in there. Yeah, yeah, that can be. Um, if you hear that, Mina is chasing her tail on the couch. She has said this is a foreign body. I did not ask for this. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. It's just your tail. Yes, let the man have clothes. He <laughs> has clothes. That's the thing, you guys. That's the thing. Ah. Fig should be professionally groomed as a preventative measure or preventative for what? I brush him all the time. He's not he's not gonna be like horrifically matted or anything. <laughs> 
Again, my boyfriend is ginger. He has like 40 shirts. I think it's a ginger thing. Y'all are interesting creatures. Yes, we are definitely creatures. <laughs> We're not of this species. Should have talked about all that before moving in. Poor Dan. Dan told me that he only needed this much closet space. So I gave him this much closet space, which to be fair is like a fifth of the closet. I know I take over the majority of the closet. I know. But that is all you requested. And so I gave you that. And then some. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> I keep getting <laughs> reamed for this. And I don't deserve it. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. I don't deserve this. Oh, thank you, Tiffany Ann. Dan lied. He did. <laughs> and then he gets mad at me because he lied. No, I did. Yes, I just didn't think I had. I thought I had less than I did because I, I threw away a lot of clothes from the other. You place. did, and they needed made a lot of sacrifice. They needed to be thrown away, you guys. I don't want anyone thinking I made they, him throw they, away perfectly good clothing. They, they smell like basement, and and or had holes in them, and or didn't fit him anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> looks like you're gonna have to rearrange the closet space guys yeah we just need another closet yeah one closet is not enough for two humans at least not when we both like clothes to the capacity that we do i don't like clothes i just i just like my nerdy shirts it, well that's liking clothes yeah <laughs> Nerdy guys always have 30 of the same shirts. Untrue. I have no duplicates. No, but they're all essentially the same thing. It's all a t-shirt. Metal with a print or on anime it. Yeah. or yeah. So I get what you're saying. <laughs> Maybe we could get a freestanding clothes rack. Trust me. I we just there's no I just, yeah, there's no place to put it. <laughs> there's no room anywhere. We are we out of room need, in this place. Yeah, we just need a bigger apartment. Like that's that's the problem. We need two bedrooms. Or get a house someday. Or a house, yeah. It's yeah, 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 yeah. Do you play Magic Arena? I don't even know what that is. Uh, just paper. <clears throat> I don't really much care for the online stuff. I like the social aspect of it, being in, in person. Made a lot of friends recently because of it. Are we planning on moving? We're planning on moving once my lease is up, but it's not like a big move. I'm hoping that an apartment will open in the same building here so that we can just move to a two bedroom instead of the one that I'm in right now. So it would just essentially be down the hall or on another floor or something. Like I wouldn't need to get a moving truck, which is really nice. Um, but then we could at least have more space. Yeah. Um, Cause we're gonna wait on getting a house until the market is better. Cassie, what about getting rid of clothes that don't fit you or swapping out seasonal clothes? I have gotten rid of clothes that don't fit me. Anything that is in my closet right now fits me and I wear, depending on the season. So. <laughs> For real though, you have like 50 band shirts and eight of them are the same bands. I mean, hey, as long as you like them and you wear them, that's totally fine. Uh, Alex, morning from Japan. You're living the life. Happy to see us. Well, good morning to the future. I hope tomorrow looks great. I hope Monday is a great day. <laughs> you, did you read what Aaron said? What? <laughs> Just start throwing away a shirt of his a week. He won't even notice. I'll have no clothes in 10 weeks. <laughs> oh, stop. You have more than 10 shirts. <sighs> I can't notice because I have so little. Oh, my God. I know every shirt that I have right now. <sighs> you have a long-distance boyfriend, Amy. And when he moves here, he's getting two inches of closet space. See, Dan, I was generous. I gave you, like, I'll probably 20 inches. Uh, 
Would we ever travel to Japan? That's a vlog you would love to see. Yes, yes. we are. We are planning, we are on, planning it. on it. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just so exhausted. <laughs> I'm so exhausted with the lies. <laughs> Will we do a meet and greet for the Magic the Gathering convention? I don't think I'll be there. Um, <clears throat> I'm going with a group of friends, so I'm going to have to pass on that one, unfortunately. I don't know how they feel about <clears throat> all that. And we all promised that we were just going to go as a group. So maybe maybe in the future at like a game store or something in public, I, I'd be okay for would you be okay with people just going up and saying hi? Yeah. Yeah. If you see me there, then by all means. <clears throat> it's just that, yeah, like I said, I got plans with friends. So if you want to say hi, feel free. But I'm fortunately probably not going to sit down and do a deep interaction. But I'm sure we could find someday if enough people were interested in doing a game store and getting like a pot of commander going or something like that. <clears throat> Take your anger out in the bedroom relationship tips 101. <laughs> this is fair. You should French braid Dan's hair. I've tried. I need to learn how, because I know how to do it on my hair, which is like no hair. But when I've tried on Dan's, it just looks horrible because I don't have, it's hard, it's hard for me to, I, I just need to figure out how much, because I know how much of my hair to gather with each doing of the braid, you know what I'm saying? But with Dan's, I haven't gotten it figured out how much to hook each time. And so I end up either like stopping halfway, like running out, or else I get to the bottom and I still have chunks. So it's just a matter of, yeah, I just need to learn. What were you chuckling about? Me? Yeah. yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> Dan, do you like to read? Yeah, yeah. I read a whole bunch of manga now. She gets mad at me now that I just ordered a whole bunch more. We don't <laughs> have room. <laughs> this is fair. <laughs> Everyone say it. Show the closet. <laughs> We're so crowded here. And Dan is just ordering all this manga. And I'm like, I support you and you want to read. But, like, I also... We have no room. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's saying to show the closet. No. Show the closet. The cl it's horrible. It's just jam packed. It's awful. No. I'm ashamed. It's <laughs> not we good. <laughs> we're not. We're not hoarders. We're not hoarders. We just. Yes. Let the man have his manga. <laughs> I, bought, I mean, I brought those uh, cube shelves that we can start using over there, and I can and I can put them in boxes in the corner. <laughs> I broke her. <laughs> Broker. <laughs> I just want to be able to live. <laughs> we don't have any room to live anymore. <laughs> I just miss having floors. And, and floors. And <laughs> just now you're making it sound way worse. <laughs> and there's just piles of cards and things everywhere. That is true. I just want another closet. I just want another closet or two. There is no under the bed space. There's yeah, no, already that's, stuff that's where all the cats the are bed. and all the stuff. <laughs> Room tour? No. It's awful. It's not. It's really not. My old room was awful. Agreed. But you guys can see, like, even in the vlog, there's just, like, stacks of things, like, everywhere. I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it, and I don't like it. I signed up for this when I dated a nerd. Yes, you did. <laughs> Partially, yes. I just... And I want to say also that you have more cards than I do. Are you 
sure. Yeah. I would say it's pretty equal. I think you have a bit more. For you, you have all this, you have all those, plus you have the stuff on the floor of my bookshelves. Yeah. I have like two shelves. No, because you have all the binders and then you have it all spread out everywhere. Well, I have the, I suppose I have two shelves of binders. Okay, so I have maybe three shelves. I would say we have equal amounts okay. of cards, personally. Kristen, you understand feeling overwhelmed with stuff when your husband originally moved in with you. There was so much stuff and your dog... The dog had way more hair than you. <laughs> it was an adjustment for sure. I know. It's like I don't mind stuff. Like I'm a I'm a I don't want to say I'm a cluttered person, but like I like knickknacks and I like stuff. Like I'm not a minimalist. I never have been a minimalist. It's just that I like things to be organized and for things to have their places. And so like for there to not be places for our stuff, mm -hmm. it bothers me. I don't like it. And so it's not that I'm against Dan having stuff. It's just the fact that we don't have spots for all of it yet. Yeah, we don't have like room to put bookshelves and stuff yeah. to solve a lot of problems. Yeah. I so just got like, like these little cube shelves to put underneath the island to help a little bit. But... I think that'll help. Yeah, where you would normally put like bar stools or whatever. We're yeah. just going to set up <clears> some shelves underneath there since we don't ever use it. as. And then I think I can get my cards into like two of them. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so it's just it's just a space thing, you guys. Yeah. Like I'm I'm all for Dan having his stuff. Like it's just at the moment taking more stuff in. We don't have room for more stuff at the moment. That's all. Is this thing empty? No. Oh, yeah. No. Like, can I put some clothes in there? <laughs> no. How about if I buy new shirts? I can put them in the front closet. Did we, there's no room in there. There's room. Is there? There's I mean, if you, if you can I find can the space. I can put five shirts in there. You can. Okay, I can get five shirts. <laughs> you know, guys, I can get five shirts. <laughs> <sighs> How big is our space? I don't know the square footage. I mean, it's a one bedroom. Uh, it's a one bedroom. It's one of it's the bigger be one bedroom, though. I would rather. Like the executive? Uh, stop. I would rather they didn't know where I live. No, I just said it's No, like... I know, but they can figure... Trust okay. me, Dan, people are creepy. AF. Oh, yeah. I don't, like... Even if you tell them the square footage, these people found out my old apartment based on the backsplash in my kitchen. People are creepy. <laughs> like, I know I come off as paranoid, but, like, it's only because <clears throat> I, oh. I've seen the things happen. Um, but, yeah, it's a, it's a one-bedroom plus den. So, like, and the den is tiny and doesn't have a closet. So, like, it's, it's, it's a space. I think it's plenty of space for one person, but two people, it's just not enough. For, I should say for two people with a lot of stuff, it's not enough space. I would say if Dan and I weren't, like, collectors and didn't have stuff, he and I would be perfectly fine with the amount of space that's here, but yeah. Um, anywho. Oh, Rebecca, no, I don't, I hope not. Dan, you don't feel like a burden, do you? No. No, I don't, we're, it's fine that he moved in. And it's, I don't think it's not fair to Dan. I mean, like said, he's allowed to have stuff. It's just the fact that I'm not <laughs> happy. But it's not like every day I wake up and like, babe, I hate everything you brought here. Babe, I'm so unhappy since you moved in. Babe, why do you have to have stuff? But like, it's not like that, you guys. Yeah. And like, I got rid of a lot of stuff before he moved in. Like, we say a lot of these things in irony. Yeah. Like, I, yeah. It's it's the way a relationship works. You, what you guys would consider bickering is us playfully jesting. Yes, it's hence why this whole time I've been laughing about it. Yeah. I don't take it seriously. I know when it comes to being serious and stuff, but like this yeah. this kind of stuff is just what we do, and I like it. Yeah, I mean, and it is what it is. Like I can't, we can't change the situation right now. So we're doing the best we can right now. Does that mean I'm happy with it? No, 
but we're doing the best we can. Yeah. And so I'm happy enough. Like if I was unhappy, I'd tell him to leave, get out of here. Mm -hmm. But like, that's not the case. So, um, yeah. Do I really think anyone wants to stalk me? Um, have you lived my life? Do you know what has happened to me in the past? How about you keep your mouth shut until you know these things? I'm sorry. Some people. It just, it really pisses me off. Like, do I think I'm that famous? No. But people have done things when I had even just like 10,000 subscribers. There was that podcaster that just got on the live from a random fan. I haven't even heard of this. Like, you, in it's, Washington. It's not <laughs> so unbelievable, trust me. And I wish it wasn't that way. Um, but like I said, you don't know me. You don't know what I have and haven't been through. Just because I don't talk about it doesn't mean it hasn't happened or continue to happen. Like, it's... <sighs> we, we've had instances of people... And I connecting with people that they shouldn't be. <clears throat> and I have had many instances of things. So like I'm sorry, it just it really upsets me. It's like when people tell people with depression to just be happy or have just have a positive mindset. Shut the F up! Yeah. Someone's wondering if you still do art. <laughs> I do not to the extent that I used to um, when I had more time. I I consider my cross stitch a form of art. I mean, it's more of a craft if we're going to like get into the nitty gritty of like the difference between arts and crafts. I've always kind of hated that because it kind of belittles people that only do crafts. And then, you know, like things like knitting and stuff, but then that's not considered art. You created something like I think that's art personally, but um, yeah, I also worry um, with painting. I've always been really worried with my cats around, um, especially cats that like to get into things and or cats that have problems eating everything and paints are very toxic. Um as I'm sure many of you know, I it worries me. So I don't paint anymore. But um, yeah, my cross stitch is coming along. We have we have those planters to paint. We do have the planters to paint. Well, yours is a planter. Mine yeah. is like a oh the light light thing. Yeah. But yeah, we do. We need to paint those. Uh, sorry, Dudu. I know you're all comfy. <clears throat> What's my fave painting? Like of a painting that I did? I could probably go grab them. Uh, well, I don't know. One second. Uh, uh, these are what we're gonna paint. We're gonna paint a unicorn planter and we're gonna paint this, this cat light thingy. It's gonna be cool. We will vlog it. We will? Yeah, why not? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't know that was the plan. Why not? We could do it on a live stream. I mean, fair. Do something with it. I've always so there's my mom has a couple of my more favorite paintings at her place. Um, the Klimt. No. No, oh, I like that one. Which one? Uh, the kiss or whatever, the lovers. Yeah, but no, no, no things oh, that I did. Painted. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so she has one of a person in the bathroom, and then she has a big galaxy painting that I did. Those have always been favorites. But then I have these watercolors. Um, I'll cover up my name. This one is so stupid. Like, it's nothing special. I've just always really liked it. It was just some, like, crab apples. I don't know. I just really like it. I would like to get that framed someday. Um, and then this one that I had taken when I was in... Dubrovnik in Croatia. Um, and there was a little kitty. Yeah. So it was just of a street, a street photo. And uh, yeah, watercolor, 
I always liked the way that turned out, even though I got bad critiques on it. Because <laughs> it was in the era of school when people were like, okay, yeah, so we see you can make pretty paintings, but like, what's the meaning behind it? And if there's no meaning behind it other than being pretty, like really, what's the point of painting in the first place? Yeah. And then that got into my head and I hated myself, so. <laughs> But, so, someone named my favorite one of yours. I like the Bort Samson. Samson game. Because <laughs> <laughs> you did it perfect, hundred percent perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I tried my best. I really did. Well, thank you, you guys, for saying that. I also, beautiful. I also like the paintings that you bought from Goodwill and then added the. the oh, Pokemon I added the Pokemon. In. Yeah, I had started filming those. Um, I was going to do a video on it, um, and I never ended up making a video because I still need to do the Red Gyarados okay. um, in the photo that's above the litter robot. Uh, I was going to turn that into the Lake of Rage. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I was going to film it, and I just never did, but I do. I need to do that. Bright Fox is dead. Oh, BS. Art for art's sake. I know. Trust me. I believe that as well. But I got reamed in art school. <laughs> All the years I mean, I did because art. then you can just start, like, then if it's just about the meaning behind it, then I could be an artist as in yes. I could do a non-objective abstract, literally throw yes. paint at that and be like, I was angry. Look you at me. You could literally steal a urinal and put it in an art show. I could, I could take a banana and I could just nail it to the wall. And when someone takes a bite of that banana, it became ten thousand dollars more. <laughs> Unfortunately, these are all real circumstances. It makes me sad. I understand <laughs> it. I get it. I don't. <laughs> Tell me the symbolism but behind the banana. But it pains me. It's not the symbol. Well, it was about the decay, and I mean, listen, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I get it. I guess it's more performative than anything. And for me, with performative art, it's weird. I don't actually usually care for the actual performance, but I do like reading about it and the thought behind it and like what it's meant to symbolize. That I think is beautiful. The writing about it, I'm like, yeah. But then like actually watching it or looking at it, I'm like, this is so dumb. Mm. But like, you know, there's 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 mm -hmm. coins, there's sides to all of the coins. I get it. All art has its place. I just was born in the wrong era. And that's that. So Tiffany Ann, if you were Duchamp, yes, you could have become a very famous artist. Yes. That is what I'm that is what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, if only I would have thought about a cherry and a spoon. <laughs> Me, a past janitor, wishing I'd stolen a <laughs> urinal. <laughs> yep. Yep. So, what is... No! No! Ew. Dude! Ew. <laughs> I think this is our cue, my friends. It has been an hour anyways. Uh, but, yeah, I... Also, apparently, there were comments on my last video saying I should check my thyroid. It's perfectly healthy. At least it always has been. Trust me, I wish that was, like, an easy answer as to why I gain weight over the years. But I think mainly it has to do with how much I eat, what I eat, and how little I move. <laughs> Which I guess in and of itself is an easy answer. Um I shouldn't say easy answer. I should say, and I don't want to call it an excuse because like people who have thyroid problems, it's a legitimate actual thing. Um, I wish I could blame that, but really I, I just have to blame the chocolate because like I have no one to blame but myself. Uh, you love my accountability. You've gained 40 pounds and you know the true answer. Yeah. I mean, it's listen, like when it comes down to it, mm -hmm. I weigh as far as I know. And as far as blood testing and stuff has ever shown, I weigh what I weigh a partially due to genetics. I do have a bigger frame 
That being said, the weight that I am, that's all on me. For, for the, as far as I know, you know? So, uh, <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah. I, it, it gets to a point where it's like, I, I could lose weight. I could be smaller. But, like, at this point, do I care? No. Like, a little bit, but no. Like, it would just be, yeah. Ugh, I don't want to talk about weight. <sighs> I think it's time to go, you guys. Uh, thank you all. Jacob! Look at it! Jacob exists! This is Jacob! Hi! I miss you too! I miss you! I miss you a lot! I wish you lived here! Come back! But also don't. Like, please stay in love and be in love and do your thing. Uh. But like... I miss ah, you, and I wish you were here. So, anywho, I love you guys. Thank you for hanging out. I'm sorry if I exploded a few times in this. It's been a long couple of weeks. <laughs> I've been going through some things, but uh, embrace your curves. I agree. I agree, and I have for the most part. So that's that's where I'm at like I said so anywho thank you guys thank you for being here uh my emotions are valid thank you yes we will have a relaxing evening with this goofball right here uh, he doesn't want to keep on eating me yeah well like he's said being a little aggressive about it now you allow it <laughs> yeah he was gnawing before though now he's being aggressive okay well either way you guys either way. Yeah, see, because now we're just getting into comments about your health, though. You guys, my health oh. is just fine. My health is just fine. Fat yeah, I'm probably worse. I'm probably worse off than she is. Fat people can be healthy. I hate to break it to you, but it is possible for fat people to be healthy. Just saying. I know this is a novel concept. It's crazy. It's craziness. But yeah, fat people can have perfect, the yellow circles. What yellow circles? Okay, people, and this is why I never talk about weight anymore, because then it just. All right, guys, have a great night. Thank you so much for hanging out with us in the live stream. Again, I'm sorry. We're talking about some heated topics tonight. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to continue this classic conversation. No, we're not. I want to go to bed. I just want to go to bed and eat a salad. I'm going to watch Hell's Paradise. Okay. And I'm going to eat a salad. Oh. Okay. Not because of the comments. I just actually <laughs> want a salad. <laughs> I've eaten like garbage today. I had cereal for breakfast and cheese curds. <laughs> Bingo. And my body is just like. Can I have a vegetable, maybe? <laughs> so, I'm going to have a salad. And uh, that's balance for you, right? That's balance for you. Yep. Okay, you guys. All right. Well, we're going we're gonna to get going. And then there's skinny people like Dan <laughs> who just eat fried chicken and french fries and Mountain Dew. I'm a secret big person. And they're skinny. Like, this This is... By all rights, I should be 300 pounds. That's life! Yep. That's life! Remember, eat Taco Bell, you'll lose weight like me. Don't listen to him. Okay, bye, guys. <laughs> it's been real. <laughs> all right, bye. Much love. Mwah. There should be regular videos this week, I think. Mwah. Goodbye. Mwah. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, guys.